What's going on guys, Edgar here, lifestylesdefined.com. So if you are in the Insider Fast, you'll be glad to know that Build 10149 is now available. Stay tuned, let's see what this one's all about. I was running through the six with my woes. And you know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go, running through the... All right, so here it is, Build 10149. Uh, it's been a week since Microsoft released Build 10136. Uh, but if you are in the Insider Fast, uh, you will receive this update here. Uh, if you were one of those that reverted back to 8.1 because Build 10136 was simply too buggy for you, uh, it just wasn't a smooth experience, you might want to change your mind and jump back on into the Insider program because this build here is definitely worth it. It's a, it's a big upgrade even though it's only been a week from build 10136 uh, one of the first things you'll notice on this build here is the improvements to the start screen and the ux in general uh, the start screen looks sharper it's crisp the tiles are updating there's no blurriness to the tiles like we experienced in build 10136 and uh and the previous build before that uh, a lot of the third-party applications even the photos app some of, some of the core applications were blurry the tiles wouldn't update that's all been fixed here uh, some uh, improvements here on the action center if we jump into uh, the action center you'll notice a few other things here flashlight is one of the big ones uh, there uh, along with some improvements here on the notifications uh, if we jump into the apps list also some improvements here if we uh, you'll notice that it's a, it's clean it looks uh, more of a more polished than it did in the previous build uh, one of the differences here is the letters here, the alphabet. If you click on the letters, even the the uh, menu here, the alphabet looks different than it did in Build 10136. It just looks like a finished uh, product, uh, and that's something that it also feels like. It feels like a finished product. Everything's faster. We'll jump into applications here, and I'll show you the task manager here. Uh, you'll notice the, uh, all the applications I have opened. Uh, we can jump into any of these here. We can jump into the store. We can jump into WhatsApp. Uh, I believe I have MyTube open here. Uh, we have MyTube. We can jump into the music application. So again, everything is working a lot better than it did in previous 10136, uh, build 10136. And uh, that, that again, just makes the, the experience a lot better for me. I've been using the uh, preview as my daily driver for the last two or three updates and uh, I, I will say that this has been by far the best one so far uh, one of the applications that has been updated is uh, projects previously known as project Spartan now Microsoft Edge is the address bar has been relocated back to the bottom where it belong in my opinion and uh, of course if we if you did visit the feedback uh, forums a lot of users wanted that changed back to the bottom and I definitely welcome that uh, back the address bar back to the bottom of the browser here uh, the menus pretty much remain the same you can jump into ta uh, tabs you can add tabs by clicking here we can jump into uh, let's jump into bing.com And then uh, if you want to switch tabs, you can obviously go here and jump into a different tab, Lifestyles Defined. Uh, one of the things to keep in mind is that when you update to this build here, any of your reading list or your favorites that you had set on Project Spartan will be deleted. Uh, and that is because of the rebranding of the application. So do keep that in mind. Uh, another change is the Photos application. Uh, if uh, if you watch our video in that we did over the photos applications, you do know that now it supports folders, uh, camera roll, screenshots, save pictures. It also uh, allows you to jump into different months. So if we click on June here, it'll let you jump into any month, any year, and it's pretty fast. You jump into that month there, bring it back up, and jump into January. So you can do all that. Here, but the feature that has been added to the applications here, the application here is GIF files. Uh, you do have to have a device with one gig of RAM or higher for that to work. Uh, the other feature that's a little hidden, in a way, is uh, the 
auto upload to OneDrive. Uh, you used to be able to find it in the settings, but now if you go into the OneDrive application, uh, and it's already here, but usually when you relaunch, when you launch the application from a fr fresh start, it'll take you here. Uh, all you have to do is hit the hamburger menu. You have the settings towards the right top corner here. Click on that, and then click on click on camera upload. You can turn the feature on there and include videos there. You can also upload uh, with uh, slow connections and things like that. So that has changed there. You can also find it under settings if you go to settings. You go into devices, go into default camera, and now you'll find it here, manage OneDrive upload settings, click on that. It'll take you directly to the OneDrive applications and take you to the camera upload settings. Um, the other thing that's obviously been improved is a lot of the bugs have been squashed. Uh, one of those being the updating of applications through the store beta app. That was something that was broken in the previous build. It would actually try to reinstall the applications that you already had in, had installed on the on your phone, and uh, sometimes it would actually break the application. Like for instance, uh, My Fitness Pal, it stopped working on me. Uh, Straw stopped working on me. I could not uninstall them, and I couldn't reinstall them either. So that was a bug that was known in, pre uh, in the previous build. But that's obviously been fixed here. Uh, one of the things that has been fixed as well is messaging. Sometimes messages wouldn't show up in the notification or the action center. Uh, that's been fixed here. Everything else works fine. Again, this is simply a big, it's a big improvement. Uh, one hand that you still works, you can, you, you can do that. You can bring, out, bring down the action center. You can set it back to full screen. Uh, again, applications work really well. It just feels like a more polished uh, operating system and uh, I think now it's really starting to make sense uh, where Microsoft is going with Windows 10 Mobile uh, again it just feels like a more finished uh, a closer to finished product here so again this was just a quick look at build 10149 stay tuned for more uh, check us out lifestylesdefined.com also subscribe like our video let us know what you want to see, what you want us to check out as far as applications or any sec any part of the uh, preview build here. My name is Edgar. I'll see you guys next time.